They led him into the army with a missing eye and a closed eyelid. Okay, sure, sure, man. FS-17 can function purely without eyesight. Oh my god. This is... This is horrible. Ah, uh, that's a... That's an insult to Phantom Pain, because that get What the fuck is this? It's like playing on a Nintendo 64. Okay, hello everybody. This is the Epic Game Guru, and uh, yes, do not worry. I understand that the game is going to be buggy, glitchy, visually, and especially the UI being as broken and buggy as a mess as it is. <laughs> but either way, I'm here to talk about Modern Warfare 2, which is the second entry to the first Modern Warfare back from 2019. Not the one from the very previous golden era of Call of Duty, which was Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, which is debatably the best best Call of Duty of all time. So why am I bringing up Modern Warfare 2 when it's on beta? We obviously know that this game's buggy, we obviously know this game's glitchy, but I'm gonna talk about this game out of personal experience and I'm not going to really fathom about and say like I'm a fanboy of Call of Duty. Yes, I played a lot of good Call of Duty titles, but we have to understand that I played Call of Duty games when it didn't have like broken systems or freaking skill-based matchmaking which is garbage in itself i'm actually going to talk about that here in this video in a bit and the amount of hypocrisy that goes about with that system but also on the fact that modern warfare 2 is not good now i'm not saying that the game is bad because the gun balance is terrible i do know for a fact that they're going to try to balance out the weapons and try to make sure that there's no major ultimate weapon that's just going to be the meta of call of duty because it's annoying playing any call of duty game where everybody's just using the same gun that's not the angle i'm going about it with this game there is a serious major issue when it comes to how sound system works in this game the guns and the actual way you move and everything it sounds brilliant I love that. The gun effects, the way the animations are for weapons, the way they fire, it feels good, but then they kind of went a little too far because there are some weapons where the muzzle flash is just virtually impossible to see through. I'm not even kidding. Sometimes it feels like I'm using a black powder pistol shooting my goddamn gun, which should not even be a thing. That's not how modern day smokeless powder works. Now that's only just a little bit of some of the problems. The other problems is that the footsteps in this game are just way too loud. They're just too loud. There's just no way in hell that people can make the argument that the footsteps in this game are perfectly balanced, that you should be able to hear players running from miles away. I get that to a certain degree of realism, but when it comes to just Call of Duty, it feels weird playing this game based off sound. Before, Call of Duty games were never based off sound, at least not fully. There was a little bit of some sound cues to alert players of when somebody is approaching, but usually this was done through perks like enemy sense or at least something to that degree. Now it's more like you can hear somebody elephant stomping their way miles away without even needing to move from your spot and it just emphasizes more to make players want to camp instead of actually playing the game. I especially don't understand modern day players where they have the debate of like hey man it's not even camping it's it's a strat it's a hundred percent strat it would mean we could totally hear the enemies foot stomping themselves all the way over here i mean if they're the ones who are not crotchy i'm gonna be able to take advantage of them and just shoot them when they come around the corner all right if you have that mindset where you really love to sit around in a corner and just wait for people to show up so you can just shoot them do me a big favor look at yourself in the mirror look at yourself and think about every little type of part of your body that makes you boring why do you think that camping in corners is fun? It's not. It's not exciting. It doesn't bring in combat. It actually does the polar opposite. And to make things even worse, again, with these maps and the way they're designed, it makes it feel like these players don't really have a choice but to camp in order to win. And that is the worst thing about it. Now I'm going to talk about the other big elephant in the room, no pun intended, aside from the massive amount of foot stopping the players somehow managed to do while going around every single part of the map in this goddamn game just running around. Let me talk about skill-based matchmaking, or in this case, SBMM for you guys. I hate every little thing that involves skill-based matchmaking in Call of Duty. It just doesn't belong in this franchise. It should never have belonged in this franchise. It does not make sense to me. It shouldn't make sense to any of the veterans of Call of Duty. It shouldn't even make any sense to new players coming coming into Call of Duty where they could pretty much guess what match is going to happen and how things are going to play off because congratulations now you have a game where you're constantly fighting in the same skill base as every other player in the game. Does that in turn make the game more fun? No, I don't think so. It doesn't. And let me go ahead and explain the hypocrisy that I mentioned at the beginning of the video while I'm at it. So the same player base that pretty much said that Call of Duty was way too hard and SBMM was supposed to balance things out and make things a little bit more fair for them. Let me ask you something. Do you love getting into sweaty matches or something? I don't get it. 
your main argument and excuse was, hey, I don't want to deal with people who are way too good. I want people on my skill level so I can at least stand a chance. Okay, now let me ask you this. That seems pretty fair. That's a pretty good favorable debate, right? Wrong. Here's why. As soon as you start becoming really good at the game, guess what happens? You start fighting sweats again. And it's even worse per match because now they're just as sweaty as you. You literally became what you hated. I don't understand that. Like, I don't understand why Call of Duty couldn't just keep its RNG when it comes to its plays. Or even better, just have a playlist where people can go into SBMM and others can go into, like, I don't know, random RNG matches. Or how about this? Keep SBMM in ranked matches. I don't get it. I don't understand the argument here. I don't get how people can assume that just because Call of Duty is hard that they should be putting a skill-based matchmaking service into it knowing that it's just going to anger them even more later because the casual matches that you want it no longer exist. It's always going to be sweat fest. I can come up with so many good reasons why Call of Duty should never have included skill-based matchmaking but as it sits right now with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, I love the gun design, I hate the map designs, and I especially hate the fact that they decided to stick with their skill-based matchmaking right up with a thumb up their ass. So either way, hope you all enjoyed this video. This has been the Epic Game Group. Tell me what you all think in the comments section. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video that much. Leave a sub if you agree that, that skill-based matchmaking should just be abolished from Call of Duty. Or if you don't agree with me, that's fine too. Just tell me in the comment section why you believe so. And either way, I'll see you all next time.